Artificial intelligence is not just about creating images of cat or chatting with your favorite chatbot. It is more about extracting value out of your business data. There are three ways of doing it in three general ways, I would say. First, either you pre-train a model. Second, you post-train a model. Or third and final, you do the retrieval augmented generation or RAG. I believe for 95% of the companies out there, the third option is the only viable option, and that is RAG. RAG simply means to give the models or AI agents context around your own business data. That is the only and plausible way and proven way, I would say, to generate value for your business processes through AI. That is why whenever I stumble upon a new RAG tool or framework, I am quite excited to see if it advances our cause or not. This new tool, HiRAG, is one such tool which seems quite promising. It is a next-gen RAG system that blends graph structures with multi-layered knowledge to give LLMs richer and more coherent context. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I have been covering RAG tools for the last almost three years now. During that time, I have seen it evolving from really zero to this point where we have such a good graph based knowledge system. If it is applied correctly, it can do wonders with your business data. So let's see if this high rag matches that bar or not. I'm going to install it in this video and we are going to also do a long context retrieval task on it. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu configuration. And you can use it on Windows or Mac or wherever. I am going to use open AI's model because that is what it supports. It doesn't support any local model at the moment. I have tried it out, but it seems that they have sort of hard coded uh, GPT models from open AI in their code, which would take real, um, you know, overhaul of the project to get it working. Anyway, I'm going to create this virtual environment with Conda. And if you're looking to rent a VM or even GPU, CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let me git clone this high rack. And that is also done. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. So don't worry about it. Next up, we need to install all the prerequisites, which is going to take some time. While it happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks, and you will find their link in video's description. It is still installing, so while it happens, let me sort of bore you with a bit of more theory, because I think more importantly, it is really an you know, very important to understand what is happening behind the scene. So instead of simply retrieving flat chunks of text, high rag organizes information into hierarchical knowledge graphs or KG, where upper layer summarize and connect semantically related lower layer entities. And this design directly addresses two key pain points in conventional rag. First, distant structural relationship, and that's a big issue. This is where semantically similar concepts end up far apart in a flat graph. Second problem is around knowledge gaps, where local entity details and global community summarizes and summaries fail to align. So by introducing this hierarchical layers and bridging retrieval mechanism, HiRag creates shortcuts between related concepts and delivers three level of context. First is local, then bridge, and then global to the LLM. That results in more comprehensive and less contradictory answer. If you look at this architectural diagram, it is revolving around two main modules. One is uh, high index, the second is high retrieval. High index builds the hierarchical knowledge graph in stages, like you know, it extracts entities and relations to form a base graph, and then it clusters semantically similar entities 
and finally generates high level summary and then on the other hand high retrieval operates on this hierarchy by retrieving local level entity descriptions and then it also uh, contains reasoning path that connect local entities to global communities so all in all um, seems like a very coherent system anyway let's go back and see what is happening with our installation and everything is installed okay now let me show you this in action uh, and before that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set up my open AI key in, in the environment. And as I said earlier, it is a paid option. You would need to go to open AI's website, which is platform.openai.com, get your API key, and then you can set it. Let me set it and then clear the screen. And this is a sample code, which shows you how to use this high rag. So all we are doing, we are importing the high rack, which we have installed. Then we are setting up our working directory. We are using, specifying our cache for LLM and for embedding. And then also we are saying that, okay, we are going to do the knife rag, which I already explained earlier. This is a file, which actually is this file, which is a whole novel, the Moby Dick or the Whale from Project Gutenberg, one of the best projects out there and it's a whole long text you can see it's a whole novel so i am just going to do a sort of a needle in the haystack test and the question which i'm going to ask is um, this that trace the reasoning from the pickets jams to ops final decision and highlight the most influential encounters so it is going to really go deep into that maybe i will just remove this and make it like this because i think it just my windows laptop to ubuntu copy paste okay much better so this is what i'm going to do um, it's a very targeted question so more this tool has to go very deep inside the document and establish the relationship chain so let me go back and run this from the root of the repo and there you go so as soon as i have run it it has loaded the model through api of course it has chunked and created 282 chunks very quickly and then it is just simply doing um, you know the vector storage in you know on the basis of those chunks making api calls all calls are successful be aware of the cost there and also because it's an api based one so you have to also be wary of the rate limiting and other stuff like throttling that is why i'm a big fan of local models embedding and stuff not only it is free private but also you don't have to worry about rate limiting and throttling i think this is one thing they need to improve in their project so you see it is chunking 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 and it is going to take some time so i will just let it run once the chunking is complete i will let you know and i will also tell you the cost of course and there you go after some time it has returned me the response if you go through this response not only it is quite grounded um, but also the main feature is that hireg has first pulled local entities from the text about each gam which for example ship names events and then it has grabbed global community summaries like themes like prophecy caution vengeance and then it has tied it to those entities it has then found the shortest path that connects those GAM entities to Ahab's later choices. And this bridge layer aligns scenes detail the GAMs with the broader storyline. So look, I think uh, feeding local bridge and global context together, Hirag has really done good by explaining how specific GAMs like warnings, refusals, and consoles logically lead to uh, Ahab's final. Beautiful. So I think a really impressive project, but uh, try it out in your project, uh, production use case let me know how you go i will also be trying it out and for the cost it has uh, cost me around six dollar us for the whole end-to-end -end novel uh needed in the haystack for one so quite expensive as you can already guess so hopefully they are also going to enable olama or any local model support that would be really cool that's it please like the video and subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a member and if you like also try, you know um, buy me a coffee that will be great thanks for all the support